Hello again, this is Lilla from Hawaii. I thought I'd show you a quick way to make some interesting cards. They can be tags or greeting cards, or whatever kind of cards you like. I don't like the usual kind of card, I like something a bit different. So first of all, I'll show you some samples of some of the ones that I've made. And we'll go through some of the steps you need. First of all, you need some card stock, and this is regular card stock. And I find that you really only get about three decent size. I fold it that way. And then I cut that into three. Cutting across, I'm not going to take time to do that, but I would cut across this way. Well, first of all, I would cut this off. And this will make some smaller ones. Then I cut this into three pieces. Okay, sort of like that. Now, to make the card, first of all, you need some pictures. And I print these off a website, my, my own actually. And then I give them a coat of varnish out at the, on my painting table outside before I work with them. That sort of seals them. Then I cut one out. So, I'm going to do this really quickly, just roughly, because it gets cut again. Then I take my card and I glue that on there. So take some Elmer's. Elmer's is the best. Put that there. Now you'll notice this one, kind of the end, but just pretty good. I'm going to cut out this part of it at the back. Sometimes I cut the back and sometimes I don't. Just a bit of it, like so. Oops, I cut a bit of a sleeve off. Oh dear. Never mind. And then to make this shape, you see all of the cards are shaped like that. This is where you write inside. So then you take your scissors and you make a design that follows the outline of the image. Don't go too close to the face. So that would be it. And then she's ready to paint. And what I would do is I always paint here and here. Hold this down when you paint so that you are not painting inside where you'd write like that. You don't want to paint inside, so you would do that, paint it. Then you find a tag or a word or something, and you apply that. You can use washi tape with words. I cut words from books. I had some on some transparent paper of some sort. So it's just up to you. This is, I'm going to try this. I don't think I've done this. Um, this says dream. It's washi tape. So I would put this, remember this is painted already. So I've done that, so put Dream across there. And because it's painted, it's not as obvious as it is like that. So imagine that the background's painted. So there is that. Now the next thing to do, here's one I just did earlier this morning. It hasn't been painted yet. And in this case, I left that side there. On these, I cut out both sides. It depends on your image, whether you can cut them both out or not. Now this one, painted, I always try and paint them to coordinate with the picture. And I used watercolors. And after they were all painted and applied, I varnished the whole thing. But because it's watercolor, it sig sinks into the cardstock, so you don't actually see the shine on that. But the picture has a different um, face to it, so it, the shine will show up there. Plus, I've already got one layer on there anyway. Now, the other thing I do for these is I... And here's some, by the way, that I'll just show you before I show you the paper clip. These are some that I painted with acrylic paints. This one says Paris. 
and this one says Inspire. Different look to this because I used acrylic paints, more of an oil painting look. Now this one I did yesterday, and this is um, watercolor, and I chose pink and blue for the colors. As I said, put that down so you don't paint everything. You just go over the whole thing, not on the back. Now she needs a paper clip. I put paper clips on all of them. And my way of doing those is maybe not particularly correct. I take about six inches of wire and it's 22 gauge wire, sort of a coppery color. And then make a loop here few times, go around and around a few times like that. Well, I've gone around a few times, I then do it by hand. It's easy because the wire is very pliable. So I'm making the front of the paper clip. You see I've still got that part there. Go around and around, around, and it really it depends on the look of the card, if the card's big or small, so this this looks like this would work. So I'll show you um, two different ways I do that. Now on this one, I'm going to make a similar loop for the back. So I go around and make a little... So you see I've got one there, and now I'm doing the other end, sort of similar. I'm going to take that do that like so. Okay, so here's my paper clip. Now these will not stay on very well unless you do something. So I put it over here, push it on the back. I think I need it up there more. Where am I going to put it? There. There. Yep, there. And then for this particular one, because I didn't poke it through, I'm just going to put a little piece of this tape, scotch tape, and to get it to fasten there, I put that there. And that stops it running around. And of course I'm going to cut off that little... Okay, so there it is, and you can of course move it because it's pliable. So that would be one way to do it, and I like that a lot. I think that's easier. If you wanted to be a little more definite with the application, uh, let's see. Uh oh. Somebody, you can see that. I'm trying the camera at a different angle. Okay. Now, here we go again. about I go and I'm doing it as quickly as I can because I don't have a whole lot of time on the camera. Okay, so when I get that much done, take it in my hand. My hands are pretty strong. And I'm going to go down, down, down. You see I've got this and still like this. This time I'm not going to curve that until later. So now I take a needle. This is the different application. And I'm going to poke where I think I want it, which I think would be somewhere, uh, somewhere there. Not too close to the edge. And then I poke this through. Okay. And then I'm going to hold it while I twist some of this at the back again, and it's through the card this time. So, let's see, one more. Let me show you on the inside. Here I go. I'm turning it that way so I can roll correctly. You can push them whichever way you want. Now see, it's there. So now, I don't need to put, um, necessarily put tape on it. It's not totally needed. Okay. 
however, I'm going to because it's got the wobbles of it. You can also glue that. I think on the older ones I did, I glued this on the inside to hold it, but I like the tape better. It disappears. You really can't see it. And then you would write in there, so there it is, there. There she is, she says, I believe. The words, as I said, I cut from a book. It was a Reader's Digest book. Just cut the words out. Glue them on. I will be going over them with a just an ordinary lead pencil just to smear them a little bit so they're not quite so obvious. You could also take some lace and put underneath just a smidgen. This is far too much. But just tuck a little lace in one corner like so. Be all right. Uh, let me show you some more. haven't finished this one, but this one is kind of quite grungy looking. I'm going to make the background dark. So she will be sort of grungy looking. She's a flapper. This one is the one I just did, and I think I need to change, maybe change the word on that one. I can still, because it's washi tape, I can still take it down a bit. I think it's too big. There. And by the time it's painted, that will be fine. Here's the one I just made. Paperclip. This one says, the rendezvous was Paris. I put a stamp there, tried that out. Works okay, not great. This one says lovely memory. She looks like she's, you know, try and look at the image. She looks like she's thinking. That's that one. This one, I, I had a sticker of Paris and this one, because she looks like a French lady, holding a, a Paris rose, I put Francois on that one. This is an older one, says Inspire Paris. These are the ones done with the acrylic paints in a darker way. The others were the pastels. Then this one says a wish, and it hasn't yet been painted. And what I will do is I will also paint over that a bit and paint that so that's nice. So, let's see. Oh, yes, and here's another one. Imagination. She's quite elegant. She was black and white as well, but so that the background wasn't totally black and, black and white, I put some pink and mauve in there. And you would write there, ignore that. That just is like a little enhancement. And as I said, if you want to put a little bit of lace or a little bit of something there, by all means do it. Uh, you'd have to, you know, just cut small motifs and figure out where you want them. You could, of course, put one also on her gown. That's what you want. I like them like this. And I like them with a, quite a nice high glaze. This is quite a high gloss. don't know if you can see that in this light. Yes, there you go. It's quite glossy. As I said, it was all over with the varnish and it just seeps into it so it's not showing anymore. So there you are. Those are my cards. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.